Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So nowadays, I guess a lot of people probably own a Ring doorbell camera now. And uh, if you own any um, Amazon Echo Show, doesn't matter which size you have with a screen, you probably wonder that, uh, what if I, I'm, I'm really wishing that if someone click my doorbell camera outside and I wish my Amazon Echo Show will immediately show a live view of the camera instead of uh, I have to take my cell phone off or I have to uh, use my voice to command to do something. And then, because that just sounds like a straightforward thing, but then the strict part is, this is actually a not building feature, not something that's straightforward that come with a product. So in this video, I will show you how to do that, meaning um, if someone press your ring doorbell camera, how do I get an automatic live view on Amazon Echo Show? Uh, it, it can be the smaller size Echo Show 5 and 8 and 10. And then in my case, I actually just bought the Echo Show 15, a very big screen. So if you are curious about this big Echo Show uh, 15 inch size, uh, please check out my other video where I did a full review in there. So. Uh, first of all, let me show you what does not work uh, because I actually did a lot of research and then on the rain.com in their official website, they actually answer this question. They explain one way to do it, which actually does not work. So let me show you what does not work. So based on the rain's manual in their website, what they're saying is you can go to the Amazon Alexa app and then go to de uh, device. And then in the device, you can go to cameras to find your front door camera. And then there are a lot of settings. One of the settings you can do is uh, uh, if you want to uh, either make announcement whenever your doorbell is pressed or make announcement whenever there's a motion detected. So if you only want to show your live view when it's pressed, and then you just turn on this one, and then you want to make sure you show live view on whichever echo show you want to do. So in my case, I want to show it on my big echo show, the 15 inch, and then see, it says it will show both announcement and show a live view. So you show a live view on the compatible device with screen. However, what I did in this way, I did some tests in there. Uh, what I got, the result I got is it will not show a live view. It will show an announcement. It will say someone is at front door. And then it will literally show the text on the Echo Show screen. Like in this screen, it will literally show the text saying someone is at your front door. No live view. So uh, I'm telling you this method does not work even though Rain says it works. Now let me explain what will work. What will work is uh, you're gonna have to set up a uh, Alexa routine in there. And then if you did something similar before, you probably know that you click the three bar and go to routines. And then uh, since I already set it up, let me just uh, uh, show you where it is. Um, yeah, it's this one. So, um, Basically, the structure of every Amazon routine is you want to say when something happened, you want some action in there. So um, you want to click in there to say when my front door is pressed in there. And actually, maybe I'll just do a new one so that I can show you what to do. You click a plus sign and you do a new one when this happens, when what happens. So find your camera from a smart home, find your camera. Uh, the name of my camera is uh, front door. So my if my front door is pressed, then what do you want Alexa to do? Uh, I want to show the live view in there. But unfortunately, there is actually no option under the smart home in there. So you got to do this customized action in there, which is pretty much you are texting a demand in here, similar, the same way as you are using your voice. So think about how you 
use your voice to ask Alexa to show the live view. So you can say, show me the front door, right? And then the name of my front door camera is front door. If you have other name, make sure you use your other name. So what you're saying is whenever someone press your front door camera, you want a automatic command to Alexa to say, show me the front door. And then the, in that way, and it will ask you like from which device. So I want to show it on my big Echo Show, which my 15 inch Echo Show in there. So it's it will be like whenever this is pressed, it's like someone will automatically say this voice command into this Echo Show and then it will show a live view of the camera. And certainly you will never hear any like ghost voice saying this, but then uh, this action will happen. I guess the only uh, only annoying part is since this is like a action of this command, uh, whenever this happens, my Echo Show will say, okay. It's like whenever you ask Alexa to do something, it will say, okay. So the, that's the only annoying part, which I'm okay. So this is how you uh, automatically show your doorbell camera live view on Echo Show whenever someone press your doorbell. And I think this is a very useful feature. Now, another thing, another um, uh, function I want to explain here is usually when you do this, this live will will show uh, on your Echo Show for a while. And I think sometimes it's just forever and it will never just close it all by itself. And which is sometimes annoying because you you see someone press your doorbell and you after that you, you know who is there you just want to turn it off immediately you want to see your home view right and then again the idea is similar uh, think about it how you use your voice to uh, ask Alexa to turn off live view you probably just say go home right so same thing you create a new routine in here and then um, I'm just gonna create a new one. When what happens? So I think a trigger this time I want to do is when there's no motion in my front door camera, um, because you know after they press doorbell, I see the live view. Uh, maybe I open the door for the, for them. They they came in, or maybe they just left. So uh, I guess I'm just gonna say whenever my front door camera does not detect motion for one minute. Whenever there is motion, no motion in my front door camera, then I want to turn off the live view. Again, there is no smart home action for that. You still have to type in a customized command. And the thing about the command to ask Alexa to turn off a live view is go home. So I'm just going to say go home. From which device? From the device I just turned on the live view, which, which is my big echo show. So uh, this is how you turn off live view uh, after someone press the doorbell and the turn on the live view. And then good thing is somehow when I do this and uh, I, I uh, actually, I, what I thought is my Alexa may be just saying okay all day long because think about that most time there is no people in my front door, but that seems like it's not the case. Actually, um, I'm not hearing Alexa saying okay all day long, so it's actually a good thing. So, uh, all right, I think that's what I want to show. Uh, I personally find it's a very convenient feature. It's like a no-brainer, right? You have a doorbell camera, you have a screen that you home, someone press it, you want to just show it. And then, unfortunately, this is not building feature. You have to set it up in there. And unfortunately, the way their Rain official website told you is not working. So you have to set up Alexa routine to do it. And uh, I and you have to set up another one to turn it off so that it's not showing forever. So, uh, all right. So thank you for watching my video. If you find my video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.